guess who's going to show you how to set up a media server? That's right, me. Once again, I'm here with another tutorial. This time, hopefully, it's not boring as fuck. It's a simple solution to streaming your media from your computer to your PlayStation using Windows Media Player. Now, this tutorial is for Windows 7 only. Uh, whether you have Vista or anything prior to that, you should shoot yourself in the foot and upgrade to 7. You should upgrade to 7 because it's... it's... Brain freeze. Yeah! No. So the tutorial is pretty simple. Uh, basically, all you're going to have to do is turn on your computer. If you can't do that, well, you're pretty much out of luck and you should stop this video now. Once your computer's on, open up Windows Media Player. I, myself, am using Windows Media Player 12. Let me see what exact version it is. About Windows Media Player. 12.0.7600.164 and a whole bunch of other numbers. So from here, first thing you're going to want to do is get your music videos and pictures sorted out. Right click on music on the sidebar here and click manage music library. So what this does is it asks you where do you want to pick up your music from. So here it says it's getting my music from my music folder as well as my public music folder. Uh, if your music is stored, stored elsewhere, click on add and choose the file location and then click uh, include folder. So for me it's not that case, all my music is in my music folder so it's set like that as a default. So I'm going to click OK. You're going to go ahead and do the same for video and pictures. Right click, manage video library and choose where your videos are kept. So once you've done all that, on the top here you see a button that says stream. Drop down menu, pulls down, you're going to want to check the two bottom ones here. It says allow remote control of my player as well as automatically allow devices to play my media. Now this, the last one right there, allow devices to play my media. Now that's key, you have to have this checked. So click on that last option uh, that says more streaming options. Open it up and it'll show you all the devices on your local network. But my PlayStation isn't going to show up on my local network so I'm going to show up, I'm going to click on all networks. And the last thing there says unknown device, that's my PlayStation. Default, it's going to set to blocked. I'm going to want to change that to allow. Allow a connection for my PlayStation. Click OK. Go to your PlayStation. Search for a media server. For me it says two media servers found, so I'm going to go down, this is the media server I just set up, and since I'm in music, I'm going to go to music, find all my music, and it shows up. You could copy it, copy multiple, or just simply play it, and it'll start playing. So, uh, do the same with video. Under the video section, go to your media server, move down the video, all videos. As you can see, uh, this is going to start playing as well. For the New Jack City. And finally, uh, for pictures, go to your media server, go down to pictures all pictures and they show up there we go look at that that's your boy right there and that's pretty much it hopefully it's been uh, pretty simple so go ahead try it yourself and uh, let me know if it works for you just remember for your PlayStation you have to be under the video tab to watch your videos you have to be under the picture tab to view your pictures and finally you have to be under your music tab to listen to your music if you're not, it just ain't gonna work. And if you are and it's still not working, well, watch the video again. Or shoot yourself in the foot. Also, before you go, in a few seconds you'll see a few other ways how to set up media servers for your PlayStation 3. Now once I get to doing them, you'll see a link. So go ahead and click on that link, you'll be directed to the video. So check back and, um, and subscribe. Oh yeah, before I go, Remember to check out the channels that are just going to pop up right...